I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here at the Samsung stand in Mobile World Congress taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Young. The Galaxy Young is Samsung's entry-level Galaxy device. Um, it clearly takes some of its design cues from its bigger brother, the S3. It's got this, uh, this glossy white, all-plastic design with the nice chrome edging and uh, sort of the, the silvered chrome uh, microphone and speaker ports. It's only a 3.7-inch device, so it fits quite easily in your hand and will slide into your pocket perfectly well. On the front, you'll see a 3.27-inch display, the 480 by 320 pixel resolution. Now, that is far from some of the high-definition screens we've been seeing in the past sort of 9 to 12 months. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it does mean that a lot of small text around the icons doesn't look particularly sharp. It is at least um, bright and, and f has fairly good colors, so um, it'll be at least OK for a bit of web browsing. It's got a one gigahertz processor inside, which really isn't going to give masses of power, so don't expect lightning performance. Um, hopefully, though, it should handle the essentials of uh, Facebook and Angry Birds um, fairly well, though. It's running on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Now, it isn't uh, that much different from uh, basically any of the other software that Samsung uses. So um, if you've already used Samsung's phone before, then there won't be much of a learning curve. There's been no word yet on pricing, but given that the low specs, we are expecting a very reasonable price. It should be available sometime in the second quarter of this year. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is a Samsung Galaxy Young.